Hi, I'm Mike Coe from Juno America, and today we're on board the Juno Sunfast 3300, which is a dedicated offshore racing boat for either fully crewed or short-handed crews. Um, one of the cool things about this boat is we've done some really innovative things with the sail handling, sail controls, and hull shape to really optimize the boat for offshore conditions, reaching, running, heavy weather sailing, and while it is optimized for those conditions, she also can go around the buoys pretty well as well. Uh, first thing you notice in the cockpit is all the sail controls are led right to where the crew can get at them easily. We have twin top mast backstays to handle the massive square top main that this boat has, but they're easily handled um, via a course tune led to the clutch, which you pull on as the boat tacks. And then once the windward backstay is loaded up, you have a easy to use control right down here at the helm pod. Um, also at the helm pod, we have a fine tune for the main sheet and the course tune for the main sheet as well. Uh, the other thing you notice about the boat uh, is that the jib controls for the three-dimensional jib system are led right here to the, the sheet winch. So one person can easily you know, adjust the jib sheet. If you're single-handed, the autopilot can be steering while you're adjusting the, the sails, or if you're double-handed, one person can easily do it, see the sails and the controls. Um, single tiller, which opens up the cockpit. Um, you know, it's kind of a departure from what we've done with the Sunfast range in the past, but it's really nice for kind of creating more space and making a more ergonomic cockpit, which I think is really nice. Here we have the adjustable footrest, uh, where you can brace yourself for when you're in a steering position, which is very nice. Um, protected bench for when you're offshore and you don't want to be facing the ocean. Um, in the uh, companionway or pit area, we have the clutches for the two spinnaker halyards, which are at the masthead. Um, the lower spinnaker halyard can be converted into a fractional uh, halyard by use of a conversion line on the port side. Uh, this boat uh, uses hank on jibs, but you can get a carbofoil uh, or a roller furler as an option. Uh, but as a result of the hank on jibs, we only have one jib halyard in the boat but that convertible halyard can be used as a jib halyard as well. Um, and then on deck, we also have boom bang, reefing lines, everything led right here. It's a depth, deck stepped rig uh, to keep the boat watertight when she's you know, in rough weather. And then also in the companionway, we have these two buttons, which are for the water ballast system inside the boat. The upper button is a fill button, and the lower button is an empty button. And the plungers to allow the water in are downstairs under the galley and the nav station. So down below in the 3300, you know, obviously it's a race boat, so things are a little more Spartan than most of the cruising boats we do. Um, but things are pretty well sorted out to be, you know, to kind of make the life cycle at sea pretty comfortable. Up forward, we have two pipe berths here. Um, you know, this one is in bench mode, but you can see how you can convert the backrest to be um, pipe berth at sea with a lee cloth there. Um, here we have the, the nav station. And we have the galley on the other side. Obviously pretty simple galley, but it gives you everything you need. Refrigerator, uh, gas powered stove, sink, um, storage behind. Uh, the nav station, we're using B&G electronics. Um, very nice touchscreen stuff, autopilot control in three locations on the boat. One very cool feature about this boat are these um, seats on the two sides of the boat. When the boat's heeling over, I'm on the windward side, I'm gonna be in an upright position. Um, if I'm single-handing and the weather's rough outside, I can do my autopilot adjustments for my chart plotter here, and I can look out this window to look up the rig and check my, check my sail trim. Here's the closet, which fills up. That's 52 gallons when it's fully filled. And just after that, uh, you see a quarter berth. They're symmetric, so there's one on port and one on starboard. And the fiddle blocks there take half the quarter berth and fold it up to be a pipe berth so you can sleep on the weather side. So one of the many cruising features on this boat is the flip up table. Uh, if we want to do, you know, we finish the race, we want to have some dinner or lunch. Um, this offers some salon seating on both sides. We can get six people around the table uh, if, we, if we feel that's the need. And up here we have the head, you know, a little Spartan, but you don't see a lot of race boats with pocket doors. That's very nice. Um, I think that's about it for the interior of the boat.